You can't just run off like that, Henny. Granny's not as spry as she once was. Henny? <laughs> I'm not... Aren't you cold, darling? People with Alzheimer's! You never knew how to dress appropriately. <laughs> I remember back in preschool how you would put your undies on your head. I'm sorry, but I think you're mistaking me for somebody. <sighs> it's about time you made it back here, Henny. I'm feeling a bit out of sorts today. Why am I even standing here? Aha! Did you get... Do, do you have those, uh, you know... Help me out here, Henny. No, I'm sorry. I'm Aiden. Aiden. And I really have to get going. Pills. That's it. You were supposed to bring me my pills. Run out this morning. And my mind's all sort of foggy. I'd like to help, but I... Yeah. Okay, let's see. Where do you usually keep these pills, ma'am? No matter, Henny. You were supposed to refill my script at the pharmacy. Yeah, pharmacies aren't really open for business these days. God, I've forgotten everything. Ah, I know. This group of nice boys came this morning for coffee. No, it was for tea. And they made me, I mean, I lent them my last bottle. They had such funny masks on their faces. You were robbed by renegades? Mm. Ah, yes. That might be what they called themselves. But they were nice boys. All right, don't worry, Grandma. I'll ask those boys to give it back. Where did they go after that? Uh, somewhere over there. To those abandoned apartments behind me, I guess. Darling, don't you boys get up to too much mischief together. I'll be waiting with a hot cup of tea by the windmill south of the VNC tower. You know, it's amazing to believe that pills are still in production somewhere, but uh, they've completely thrown away on guns. Like, have people become such pacifists in... Uh, in this uh, world or something. I'm going down. Oh crap. How did... Wait, that one's green, so... <sighs> What's green? Is it still alive? <sighs> so they are here. Grandma might be confused, but her memory's just fine for something. I hope these pills help her. There. That should do the trick. We're suffering any symptoms of infection. Mm. Yeah. That speaker is uh, pretty much laying out the symptoms of the COVID virus. Although, if you ask me, I would say the COVID pandemic is pretty much gone now. We're facing a new crisis right now. Here you go, ma'am. I mean, Grandma, I got your pills. <laughs> Took your sweet time, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Had to grab a pint with your mates after work again, is that it? You could have let me know before we got married. The day were your true loves. <laughs> well, here's your tea. See what kind of wife you have? No, no, I'm not your husband, remember? <laughs> I'm your grandson? Shit, now I'm confused. Take these, please. They should help. That's so sweet you brought them, Aiden. Wait, 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 wait. So 
You remember my name? You know who I am? I... Oh, my. Oh, all right. I might have exaggerated my memory problems a little bit. One can get used to this epidemic, even to the infected. But to loneliness? Never. What's the point of surviving if I have no one to share my life with? And you. Do you have a grandmother still alive? Do you drop by for tea with her? Never had a grandma. Truly? Then you do not even know what you are missing. I know so many stories. Would you like to listen? I... I'd love to. Drop by whenever you feel like it, and I'll be glad to tell you. People bring hurt on themselves. I'd love to hear your story now. I am Bosnian. I survived the siege of Sarajevo by the Yugoslav army during the war in Bosnia and Herzegovina. It started in 92 and lasted four years. The longest and bloodiest siege in the history of Europe after World War II. My mother and I were hiding in the basement. Very tight, very uncomfortable. It was hard to sleep. One day, a boy showed up. He was maybe seven years old. His name was Daniel. His parents had been killed by mortar shells. Higher up, you could sneak away from snipers, avoiding unprotected streets. But you could never predict where the missiles would fall. It was only a matter of time before Daniel would die. He came by every day, but my mother never suggested that he stay the night. We lacked food, and a third person would have made it impossible to sleep. One day, Daniel sat with us, and I could see how troubled he was. He had big brown eyes. Can I stay with you? Mother changed the subject. In the following days, she did that three more times. Until, finally, she let him stay. Why'd she change her mind? I asked her the same question. She said, I had to remind myself what it meant to be human. I have remembered that my whole life. When the virus broke out, I sheltered dozens of immigrants. People think of themselves to survive. But they won't survive if they think only of themselves. Wow. I never thought about it like that. I'm glad I met you. Hmm. Hey, has someone hurt you? My son. I gave my whole life to him, and in my golden years, how does he repay me? By making life hell. In my own home. I couldn't take it anymore. So I left. Where will you go? Oh, I heard about an abandoned container nearby. It used to belong to the peacekeepers, but now it's empty. Well, it was empty. When I went to see it, infected were all over the place. I would say I get rid of the infected for you. Would you do that? I'll pay you. Sure thing. But where can I find you afterwards? I'll go to the canteen. But any place is better than my hellhole of a home and my demon son. Oh, come on. How can a son do this to his mother? I'm at the mercy of strangers. This is not how I imagined things would be at my age. So, okay, let's try and see if we can also mend these family problems. I really don't like it when family fights.
Dum dum. We're back on the overpass. I. I didn't. No! I went a little too far to the left. Let's see if we can go up this way, maybe. <clears throat> well, I should have known that was a little too far. Maybe it'll work out here. Okay, why is it just sitting abandoned? Okay, you're going to die the spear way. Boom. Oh, come on, I really wanted it to fall off the edge. The container is safe. Yep, I can hear them arguing. Well, at least they're talking to each other. Mom, listen to me. I'm gonna die laughing. Mom, come home. I'm so no, worried this, about you. This son is trying to make is that stray you took in still there? Please don't talk like that about my future wife. Her name is Sylvia. You've known her for a week and you're calling her your wife? What do you even know about her? I love her. More than your own mother? I must have been a terrible mother. You see, this nice young man promised to get me a container where I can live out my days alone. But mom... Quiet! Now, how did it go, my hero? Well, you can move in. Here is your well-earned payment. I could have left it to my son, but he deserves nothing. Please, talk some sense into her because I don't have the strength anymore. The children have to go their own way someday. Did you hear, Mom? If you want to leave because of Sylvia, then I won't be stopping you. Cool. And you had such a kind look in your eyes. Will she be all right? I'll look after her somehow. After all, she's my mother. Thanks for helping her. Yeah, don't mention it. Good luck on your new path in life. <laughs> 